Is that it? <sighs> Hello there. Just a quick and roughly edited video to talk about Expressive's announcement on December 31st. What was the news? I don't hear you ask. Obviously, as I, uh, I can't hear you, can I? Anyway, well, the release of their, the news was the release of their latest version of the SP32, the SP, the SP32 S3. We had the S2 not long ago, and for some people it was almost like a meh moment, depending on what you were expecting. However, I think for quite a few people this will be a more important release. It has substantial differences from the original ESP32 and plenty of stuff still the same. And for you lucky people, I'm going to go through the differences and compare. Firstly, I'm getting my information from Expressive themselves from this page to be precise. Link in the description below. Here are the block diagrams for both. The processor. Although we're still running at 240 megahertz, we've been upgraded to the extensor dual core LX7 processor as opposed to the LX6. This crucially has more support for artificial intelligence, pro artificial intelligence programming, providing acceleration for neural network computing and signal processing workloads. In simpler terms, we should be able to do quicker face and voice recognition, recognition for starters. So expect to see improved camera platforms, etc. So instead of being marketed as, uh, marketed as the Internet of Things, is what the SP32 always has been, it's now the Artificial Intelligence of Things, or AI, or T. This is a significant shift, and Expressive are definitely pushing it very hard down this route. That's one of their main marketing angles. Hmm, artificial intelligence of Internet of Things. Is this not how Skynet starts? With all these SP32s everywhere? Nah. The T800 uses 6502-based processor. I've seen the assembly language code scrolling up his eye vision. So uh, we're safe for now anyway, at least until the ESP32 S4 perhaps. Memory-wise, we have roughly the same amount of onboard ROM and static RAM. Yeah, I'll give it a take a little bit here and there. Expandable with flash and PS RAM as before, but critically, we are now treated to an Octal SBI flash, or well, Octal SBI bus for the flash, much faster than the old ESP32 chip could do. The PS RAM, that's a pseudo static RAM, also has some improvements. So for performance intensive tasks, we should see some real gains. On the GPIO front, we're seeing an increase of 10 pins up to 44. They have all the features of the previous ASP32, which is ADC, uh, DAX, I squared S, I squared C, etc., etc., etc. But in addition, we've got, we've got an LCD and a camera interface. That's all I have off this plot diagram. I'm not able to find anything else more specific about that at the moment. So I'm, more details to follow. If you're wondering what the TWAI, or the T-W-A-I, is, it's basically just the Canvas interface that cars use, but renamed. Connectivity-wise, the Bluetooth has been improved to be now version 5, which will enable even more objects for some projects. You might not use it, I've not used Bluetooth a lot in any of my work, but I can see the advantages that uh, Bluetooth 5 has over Bluetooth 4, so that can open a lot more avenues for people for what they want to do. The cryptography and security has also been beefed up and, and Expressive are pushing this angle as well. Uh, they have been criticised in the past for some of this. Uh, so it's been beefed up somewhat, and which will please a lot of manufacturers of consumer-facing products, but probably won't make a whole heap of difference to myself or other hobbyists. Certainly not for me, anyway. It's due to release in the room, not room. I want to say it's the W-R-O-O-M. I always want to say room. It just seems better, but it's the room and dev kit module forms, as far as I can tell, anyway, that's the two uh, module forms it should be released on, I've been told. Uh, certainly seen Expressive talk about releasing it on the room uh, format. I have read somewhere else, somewhere else has been re re released in the dev kit uh, module format as well, but uh, I, I just can't get seen to find full confirmation on the Expressive website, and obviously in the future, more of the types of boards as well. So in summary, for me, I do find this release exciting. For what I do, 
I like the idea of a fast SBR and PS, PS RAM. The artificial intelligence enhancements and the Bluetooth changes, good too. However, that's not to say I didn't have other things on my wish list I would have minded having. For example, I'd love to have some more megahertz. Even though 240 is freaking loads. I mean, surely more is always better. I'm just greedy. I mean, isn't, isn't that better? Is it, or is it just me? Hmm. I'd also would have liked to have seen some more detail on the external SBI bus that we makers can get access to on the modules. Is this going to be optical as well? It wasn't quite clear to me. So will it also then be faster? Can we drive it even harder? So we can have better, faster, perhaps updating LED screens or something. At the moment, I just don't know until we see some of the some of these in the wild and we see some more detail on it. Anyway, I hope that this has been useful and also you got excited with this new chip. Maybe you don't need this much power for the things you do and it's irrelevant. Maybe pricing will be on the steep side. Not seeing any of that. We'll see. But that's it for now. So if you did like find it useful, maybe drop a like on the video. Maybe hit the subscribe button. But whatever you decide to do with your fingertips, thank you very much to your eyeballs for watching. Till next time. Bye for now.